What's up, YouTube? It's Martha Greatest, and today's video is going to be about everyone won't see your vision. Now, if you're new to my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe, and also share this video with anyone that you may know, you guys, and let's get right into it. So everyone won't see your vision, okay? What do I mean by this, right? So let's say if you have a dream to do something, or let's say God has called you to do a certain thing in, in your life, right? So let's say if it's in your heart to become a singer, right? And you start to pursue your singing career. Not everyone is going to believe in that vision of you becoming a, a singer. Okay, you got to be okay with not, you got to be okay with people not seeing your vision because God gave that vision to you and only you. And sometimes other people can't see it. Okay, so everyone won't see your vision, your dreams all the time because it wasn't their vision or their dream or their calling to begin with okay you got to be okay with pursuing your calling yourself let me repeat you have to be okay with pursuing your calling yourself your vision or what whatever vision that you may have in your life you got to be okay with pursuing it yourself sometimes it's just you and god some sometimes god is telling you mark you need to be a speaker Sometimes God is telling you, you need to do this. You know what I'm saying? And when you get that feeling, a lot of people are going to be like, are you crazy? Are you crazy for doing what you're doing? What are you thinking? You know, a lot of people won't see it because it's not their vision. But when it comes to you and God, that that's where it's at a lot of the time. And this is something that I've experienced. You know, when people kind of looked at me like, Mark, what are you doing? Mark, what are you doing? But I realized that this is my calling. You Making YouTube videos, inspiring the world is my calling. So I don't do speaking just because of other people. I do it because it was, I was called to do this. I do it because it was in my heart to do it. And that that's the thing, y'all. Not everyone's going to see it. Not everyone's going to see your, your, your dreams or whatever your, your, your passion is. Not everyone is always going to see it. And I actually want to pull up this image right now. So you guys, please be patient with me. But um, I really want to pull up this image right now. Wait a minute, y'all. I'm trying to pull this up. I'm really trying to pull this up right now. All right. Now, there we go. Okay, so sometimes... I want to pull this image up right now. It's on Pinterest, but uh, I want to get this image right. But anyway, sometimes your friends, right? Pessimists, society, fear, guilt, and your relatives can be obstacles of you accomplishing your your goals, your visions, and your calling, 
what you were called to do. And a lot of times we have these obstacles getting in the way of our vision. We have these obstacles. You know, we have pessimists telling telling us quit. We're telling we have relatives telling us go get a job or 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 this will never work out. We have our guilt, right? We have the fear of what if it doesn't work? We have society telling us, oh, this dude is a weirdo. What is he doing? You know what I'm saying? So like you have all these things to overcome. But at the end of all of these obstacles, that's where your goals are. That's that's where the accomplish it, accomplishments are. That's where the victory is. But you have to overcome all of these obstacles before you can get to that goal. Okay? So not everyone see your relatives. Society won't always see your vision. That's just what it is, y'all. That's that's the hardcore truth. And a lot of the times, they won't believe in it either because they can't see it. But when it's so clear to you, you need to be able to believe in yourself. Let me repeat, when the vision is clear to you, you need to be able to believe in yourself, okay? And that belief in yourself and once you have that belief in yourself, what every, all these obstacles won't matter. Your fear, your guilt, your relatives. And yes, you're, go, you're going to fill these obstacles. I'm not saying you won't because you will. Everyone faces these. But the question is, are you going to get to that victory point? Are you, are you strong enough to handle those obstacles? And for a lot of people, the answer is no, okay? And that only means you just need to work on yourself and to work on your strength in order for you to be able to endure these obstacles. And you got to be okay with not everyone seeing your vision. That's just how life is, y'all. Everyone's not going to see your rap career or the success until it makes dollars. Everyone's not going to see your YouTube career blow up until it makes dollars. Everyone's not going to see your dancing career, your singing career blow up until it makes dollars. Okay. So when it makes dollars, it's going to start making sense to people. People are like, Oh, now I see where you're going. Once you start getting all this money coming in, it's all going to make sense to, to everybody. People are like, oh, this is why she went so hard in the past few years. This is why she's went so hard in the past decade. Right? You look at all these successful people and you notice that they went hard at whatever they did. They hustled. They grinded. They just went hard and they overcame these obstacles. And yes, you're still going to face them even after you achieve your goals. But you have to be strong enough to endure them, man. That's just what it is. And honestly, y'all, you got to believe in yourself. That's I think that's one of the most important things is believing in yourself and believing that you can do it. Just being persistent being consistent, right? You don't have to be the most skilled person to succeed. You don't have to be the, 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 the best. You don't have to be the greatest at what you do. Average skill and phenomenal will. That's what it takes. Average skill and phenomenal will, right? If you guys don't know Eric Thomas, He's a motivational speaker, and he gave me, he actually taught me this quote, average skill, phenomenal will, okay? So let's, I want to go back to uh, my other slide real quick. Okay, so everybody 
everyone won't see your vision all the time. But you got to, you know, you got to be confident in your vision. And when it's from God, let me tell you all something. When a calling is from God, you're going to know what it is. When it's from God, you're going to have that. You're going to have that um, certainty of what it is your vision is. Okay, so if it's something that you're questioning about or if it's something that you're you have doubt about, that's not your vision. Your vision is something that's going to come with certainty. You're going to know like, okay, this is what I'm destined to be doing. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is my calling. You're going to know where your calling is because you're going to have that certainty. That's just that's how it was for me when I discovered that I needed to be motivating people around the world, that I, that I was going to be a speaker. That's what my calling was. And another sign that I knew that it was my calling is because my mom had a dream or she had a vision and it said, Mark is going to be a speaker. Literally, like this is real life, like her vision told her or what got what the message she received from God told her, Mark is going to be a speaker. And guess what I am doing right now? Speaking. I'm speaking, y'all. I'm in my calling. So I encourage you guys to find your calling. Like, I don't know. Just go out in the world and discover new things. Get some solitude time by yourself, just with you and God. And that's where you really find your calling, in that solitude, in that alone time, right? And once you find your calling, you're just going to go for it if you believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? And not that, and everyone won't believe in it. Like I said earlier, everyone won't believe in your vision. But as long as you have yourself and you have God, you got it. The world is yours. I'm just going to say that much. So today's message, you guys, was everyone won't see your vision. Everyone won't see your calling. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and also smash that like button. If you really like this video and hit that notification for more of my upcoming videos, you guys. And I hope everyone has a great day, y'all. Have a blessed one. It's Martha Greatest. Peace.